When Coloradans legalized marijuana by popular vote on Election Day, Governor John Hickenlooper said, this will be a complicated process, but we intend to follow through. That said, federal law still says marijuana is an illegal drug, so don't break out the Cheetos or goldfish too quickly. End quote. Well, the process has proven complicated indeed, but it's not the feds that have gotten in the way so far. It's some of Colorado's own cities and municipalities. So on election day, Colorado had this mandate that recreational marijuana was immediately legal, but they ha the state had until January to figure out sort of the finer points of the law. Uh, and a lot of things are, are still up in the air. For instance, um, what level of how much marijuana can you smoke and drive a car? That's going to be regulated in the same way that we regulate uh, the alcohol level and your blood content. Um, or will restaurants be able to sell baked goods containing marijuana? That's something else. Uh, labor practices, are unions going to get involved? Um, so those things are all being worked out. Um, and we have until, I think, January to, to figure out the finer points of the law. We are in an unsettled period that, that Amendment 64 has this two-part rollout that uh, effective, uh, you know, I guess in December of last year, we repealed uh, prohibition for possession of less than an ounce. And in the year uh, that we have until January 1st of next year, we have to put regulations in place for uh, regulating the retail market. So that's what's, that's what's going on now. And I think a lot of uh, cities and counties are saying, well, let's wait and see what, uh, what the, the state comes up with. Look, in California, uh, we've got the medical marijuana train wreck, and we now have over 200 cities that have banned uh, these pot shops. And I think local governments in Colorado, responsible local governments, are looking at this and saying this is not something we want in our communities. And at the end of the day, we've got to repeal uh, these kind of drug legalization efforts to really save Colorado and their youth. Now, Veronica, I know that you're likely on the other side of what Paul just said. How is this this, uh, this moratorium impacted your own business? Uh, well, obviously the moratorium has affected my business negatively. 64 is, was a decision made by the voters of Colorado, and it won by a majority vote. The voters want alcohol or marijuana to be treated like alcohol. They want it legalized and to become socially accepted as alcohol. When it comes to the safety issues and concerns of the citizens regarding marijuana, I think that they've already determined if it's a safety issue or not by voting in favor of Amendment 64 by a majority vote. Veronica, look, um, you know, you've got some prior history where you were selling 10 pounds of pot to an undercover agent out of state Missouri. Those things I right now that, are unlawful. Please, please uh, just know uh, let me, that well, that's let me, let me, let me, let me address, on, address the points here because you threw out a lot of items there that are not quite accurate. Let Veronica, Veronica respond to that specific and then what Paul continues. First of all, what you read in the paper isn't always true. No one knows the true extent of, of my case whatsoever or my plea agreement. If anything, that's a perfect example how the federal government used monies to entrap someone who was doing something 100% legal. I never shipped anything out of state that was never proven, and I still adamantly deny it because I never did it. Um, but I was made an example in this state. I was obviously possessing and dis dis distributing um, legally. I owned two dispensaries. I was a grower. I made infused products. I, did, I was a bud tender. I did the whole shebang. Look, when the population hears both sides equally, they'll make the right choice. The problem is we're being outfunded and outgunned by wealthy billionaires who are buying ad campaigns and using trickery in their words, talking about all this nonsense. And look, what we have to come back to is one solid point. What kind of community, what kind of state, what kind of nation do we want to raise our kids in today? You know, it's shocking that this gentleman can actually say that the voters of Colorado have been tricked. Um, these people read the blue book just like we, you know, all did and made our own decisions whether we wanted to vote or not. Regarding, you know, our kids being corrupted and growing up around marijuana, I mean, what's different now than it was before while well, it was illegal except for we all had to hide it? Um, now at least we can educate our children. The schools can become, you know, more of an advocacy role or an educational role where they start understanding the difference of medical, of recreational, and that is still illegal for them to possess it.